what's up guys welcome back to lion mac tv mac here with another exciting delight and much interesting video here on the channel it's more of like giving you a daily update on the activities around peter obi and all he has been doing lately anyway this one is from brussel and yes it's it was a brief one you know he actually gave them a lecture and it was resounding like listening to what he said concerning corruption in this video i feel like truly if corruption can be tackled through this side of his own view um, nigeria will be a better place and yes funds that were supposed to be looted would be used to do the right thing and at the same time the country will improve on every aspect but the way he had tackled it or the way he handled it said about this whole thing it's so beautiful and that's why i'm bringing this video here so if you're new here please consider subscribing and if you watch the video don't forget to drop a comment sharing your own thoughts in the comment section enjoy guys it's when you not come that white man will follow you. White man cannot go there if you are here. Go to me anyway. It's not a fool. Nobody goes on to Somalia and so this start going back. People will start to go. So that's where it will end. I'm not sure we'll be discussing here for the next listen. Yeah. I said we're going to be here for two hours. Everywhere I'm going to spend two hours. Yeah, I've done two hours, 30 minutes. So you are the final question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we will treat the embassy to do better work. Because we will see you as an assassin. We will see you as not as just a Nigerian who is going away, but an investor of what we need to end the living from. If the country is not fine, that's why I say you are not working. They are not seeing those people now that they have multiple transactions. Because what does corruption do? You know what corruption does inside? It kills the entrepreneurship. So nobody appreciates your value. That will change. And when people start spending for you to work, they will know that that one who is in Belgium, you will be treating, you will be ambassador of this thing. Everything is said, you see that nobody is going to send money from them from Nigeria. So they need to earn money from Nigeria to Nigeria in order to survive by like servicing them well. Because you're going to pay them either to renew your passport, you to do this. You don't give those documents to today. No. Thank you. You know why they tell you to job? Because that document they give you, they still get the money from Nigeria. No embassy does it. And people will not give them money. They will end that money. They will treat you well. Because they will know that there's some of them suffering. So I'm not going to make the ambassador go to Belgium and start causing trouble and I'm sending you money. No. You are going to treat this man well. Because if you are first one now, he's no longer the man you're looking This man is customer of the embassy. The embassy will be calling you meetings. I live in London under the Red Wing. We were meeting as Nigerians twice a year. The ambassador will call us, will go to his house and sit down and complain and say this. I live in the office myself. If you were here when I was talking, I said it. So if both people cannot tell me, that's why when, when somebody says they are cheating us, I said they are not cheating us. I've been to school with them. I've been to the best schools in the world. And I know I've lost one. Cambridge, so they can't tell you nothing. I know everything they know. What I said, let us go our house and start doing the right thing. Stop stealing our money. Stop doing this wrongly. Let us just do things right, just rightly, quietly. Let's see how, whether it, that is our problem. I'm going so, to give you a little just, insight. No, no, this is like we've been saying, um, yes, 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 yes. my question is, yes, if we, like, like we've been saying, uh, we are in, a, in an economy that um, that is has been, you know, constructed, you know, 
Uh, Belgium was uh, without prime minister for, for a few years, and it, the system was running. So our country, Nigeria, is also running in the same, uh, in, in a different aspects. You know, we have the corruption uh, and uh, every other insecurity and every other thing there, which is running. So I'm afraid your, what is going to be your concern when you are in office, when you enact a law, and maybe Babangida, for example, is breaking that law. So what would be your anger? Why would it, why would it break the law? Because they, they did it, they, they, were, they were called at the time to, to appear in the court and they never appeared in the court and nobody till today said anything. So they are above law. It's not true. Let me tell you because the law is not working. Let me tell you more. Let me, let me just do something like quickly. Those who are taking pictures, just talk. Can I tell you what is that is quick? Eh? Let me tell you what is quick. Go and read how I went to Germany. Go and read to every society I've been in America. In Germany, I took pictures with 780 persons. In California, 1,000 plus. Here, you are less than 50. I will plead one thing. I will grant them interview. You know how you came here. You go and stay where you are. We we'll just queue up now. Five minutes. We we'll take pictures of everybody at that go. Yes, this is all I'm telling you. Yes, Let's start this. You know what I say? Let's start this. You know what I will do it. So we know what I can say. Yes, sir. Just find one person. Just find one person you can use. Or two people can use their phone. Just find one person can take it. So. Start the Yes. I bet you heard everything Peter Obi said in this video. It was actually short. It's not like one of the long videos we usually do here in the channel about him. This one was just straight brief to the point and he made all the statements very clear and one very interesting point i pick out of this whole conversation was the part he talks about corruption being the power that kills entrepreneurship and yes making people to believe less on a particular set of individuals a society or maybe a country like nigeria we all know nigeria is very corrupt from the very smallest person to the biggest person in the society in nigeria it's one way or the other corrupt we just can't tell ourselves the truth because you go to the police station the same thing you go to the hospital the same thing you go to the private sector the same thing it's just from one set of corruption to the other but we must start somewhere and it's from our government thank you for